The Tansu Chongsu Temple is a Chinese Taoist temple located at Magazine Road near modern day Kharki. Construction began in 1876 and the temple was completed and opened in 1878. It was also gazetted on 19 November 1974 and is now considered a national monument despite still being an active temple. The temple was funded mainly by two prominent members of the Tan clan, Tan Kim Ching and Tan Ben Sui. The temple is also known as Po Chak Keng, where Po Chak means protection of the innocent, reflecting the temple's role in mitigating disputes and providing protection for newly arrived Chinese immigrants in the past. The temple was built not only as a Taoist house of worship, but also as the ancestral temple of Tan Klang. The Chinese believe that people with the same surname share common ancestry. An ancestral temple, like Tan Su Chong Su, gives clan members a place to worship their ancestors. It is here that the soul of clan members are kept and venerated. The chief deity and patron of the temple is Chen Sheng Wan, also known as Sage Li King Chen. He was a benevolent and able leader who was later deified and worshipped by many in southern China, Taiwan and Southeast Asia. Other deities honoured in the temple include the Jade Emperor, who is the highest divinity of Taoism, Emperor Shun, a legendary Chinese king, Mazu, goddess of the seas, goddess of mercy, and Confucius. The temple is a classic example of traditional Hokkien Taoist architecture and comprises three holes. A defining feature is the curved roof ridges with forked ends upturned like swallow tails. Similar to those of, the roofs are decorated with various sculptures of dragons, flowers, and animals. These were crafted using the cut and paste technique. Colorful ceramics are carefully cut into smaller fragments and pieced together to form beautiful ornamentation. Dancing dragons and flaming pearls symbolize power and justice and immortality and perfection, respectively. The wall next to the temple's left entrance, facing the road, is decorated with a relief of a dragon while that of a tiger adorns the wall beside the right entrance. According to Taoist traditions, a devotee should enter a temple via the dragon's door, symbolizing his petition for the deity's blessings, and exit through the tiger's gate, signifying delivery from all misfortunes. The main entrance is believed to be reserved for the passage of the deities, and is usually closed except on festival days. The temple is replete with intricate carvings and beautiful paintings. Granite columns with sculptures of dragons, rarely found in Singapore, can be seen at the temple. Dragons and door deities are painted on the solid timbered double leaf doors leading into the entrance hall to protect against evil spirits trying to enter. Colorful wall murals depicting scenes from Chinese myths, in particular those associated with the legendary Emperor Shun, decorate the temple's interior. Eight plaques bear greetings and good wishes in calligraphic script. Five plaques date from 1880 and three from 1898. Beyond the entrance hall is the prayer hall. Statues of the few major deities mentioned before rest behind an antique altar above which hangs an 1898 plaque that reads, Help the world and the people. Behind the prayer hall is the heart of the temple, the ancestral hall. Set 90 meters back from the entrance hall, the ancestral hall is private and secure. Ancestral tablets are displaced in three glass and on the walls. Five plaques sing the phrases of revered ancestors. Because ancestral spirits occupy a very important place in the Taoist belief system, the ancestral hall is given the most important position in the temple. This layout is based on the Taoist concept of Li, which means to humble oneself to honor others. Though modern constructions have concealed the temple from clear view, it still exists as an important national monument and preservation of the Taoist culture in Singapore.